everyone! Dan here from the Design of Minecraft. Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Pocket Edition, where today we are inside our beautiful house with our crazy little cat behind us who's feeling a little bit tired, doesn't really want to do any jumping on the bed today. You're okay, Oliver? How you doing, buddy? I really love the Siamese cat look. It looks really awesome. So, today, we're going to begin by eating some bread. I know. Very, very majestic. So, today, what we're going to do is go over what we did last time. And I've had so many comments from you guys helping me out. It is absolutely amazing. So, thank you so much for all the comments you've been sending me. They are amazing. And you've been giving them thumbs up as well if they're really good ideas. So, what happened last time? Let's do that first. So, last time, we went to find loads of iron because we want to make an iron golem to protect our land from um, whatever, whatever may be around so um we went to make an iron golem but we only had a certain amount of iron so what i want to do was i went and found a load of load more iron so we got 37 more iron ore um which was pretty good so while we were doing that we came across a spider dungeon which was pretty crazy it was awesome if you missed it go and check it out in the previous video but we got loads of mossy cobblestone right here and what i want to do is um i want to make it so that this looks a little bit better for our iron golem now i've had quite a few suggestions for the iron golem one of them is to um spawn it away from walls because apparently he might suffocate and die which obviously isn't great i've also had um a little bit of a teaser as to why the grass is not growing and i don't know why i didn't think of this but there's no sunlight look it's blocked and that's why this is popping off as well because there's no sunlight or not enough sunlight for it to um grow properly which is crazy i don't know why i didn't think of that but i also got some really awesome tips for let's pat that down oh is it raining again rain why you ruining my mood <laughs> but um yeah i got some tips for enchanting as well so i'm gonna try that out too now do i have a fresh uh, yeah, no i don't i'm gonna look for a fresh iron pickaxe and see if we can get this silk touch up in here actually should we I just want to check that if it works. So basically, let me go and grab some lapis. So I need one, two, three. I've got 13 levels so far. Um, also, oh, geez, someone uh, suggested this as well to enchant books rather than tools. But um, let me just go and see if I can enchant this right now. So apparently you do get a sneak peek of what you get. So if I put that in there and then I put one, two, three. Uh, can I only get six? Oh, that's because I haven't got enough levels. If I press that... It should give me a sneak preview, but I don't want it to enchant it. So let's see what happens. Huh. Bane of Arthropods 2. Yes, it does give you it. Awesome. Oh, man, that's cool. Right. Let's see if we can take that out, put it back in, and then add this. Bane of Arthropods 2. That's not too bad, actually. You know what? I'm not going to do it, though. But at least we've got a way to see what we can actually use, which is awesome. So we can actually see if we can get Silk Touch. Apparently, level 17 is pretty good for Silk Touch, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, oh, I should have checked if we can get Silk Touch up there or not. I'll do that later. I'll do that later. So what I want to do to start off this episode is make sure that our little place is... Um, oh, jeez. I wish it wasn't raining because mobs spawn. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. Anyway, let's grab a Iron Pickaxe because our one is about to break. And what I also want to do is pretty much just make a place where we're going to have this Iron Golem stay. Or where he's going to have to get shelter from the rain because it always rains in this world at some point. So I want to put it so that... I'm not sure if I want Mossy Cobble all the way around or not. Um, I guess it could look cool, actually. So let's do this. There we go. And... Oh, jeez. It's broken already. Good job I made a new one. <laughs> there we go. Let's grab uh, this. And knock out all of this bit. And put some Mossy Cobble all the way around. Now, it's a shame we don't have more. Uh, we could make Mossy Bricks. But I don't think we've got enough for that right now. So we're not going to be able to do that just yet. Well, let's make this too. There we go. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. So, what does this look like? I'm going to have to smack this spider in the face. Spider! Oh, they're poppies. <laughs> I swear there was a spider around here somewhere. Spider, I don't want to attack you. I don't want to do it. But if I have to, then I will. I will do it. Right. I just want to check what normal gobblestone looks like here. Or maybe even andesite might look quite good here. That's a good idea, actually. Let's go and see how much andesite we've got. That'll look pretty good around the edge. Because the polished stuff will look really nice. It kind of looks like iron as well. So it might be quite a nice place for our little iron golem. Uh, andesite, where are you? Oh, I've got some bricks as well. I can't remember getting those. But hey, I'm not complaining. Uh, andesite, yes, we have loads of it. So if we grab all of this. I think this is andesite. Is it andesite or is it something else? It's diorite. Of course it is. Uh, right, let's make some polished stuff, shall we? Uh, polished diorite. Let's make it... Let's just make it all into it because we don't really use it for anything else. Let's keep on going. Polished die right. There we go. Can we not make any more? No, I think we've got it all. We've got 42 bits of polished die right. Now, the stones are really nice. We haven't really used those in any other Let's Play because they haven't really been available to us. Yeah, I knew there was a spider here. Oi! Oi! You get away from me. You get away from me. You stay away. You stay away, you punk. Come here. 
Ah! Ah! I'll kill you! I'll kill you! Come here! I'm gonna kill you! I'm gonna kill you! Kill you! Kill you! Kill you! Come on! <laughs> Go into my hit circle! You know you want to! You're not very fast at swimming even though you've got eight legs, are you? Jeez, right. Uh, why I also want to grab at some point... Oh, jeez, there's another one there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is he gonna hurt me? Is he gonna hurt me? Is he gonna hurt me? Oh! Yes, he's gonna hurt me. Stay away from me. Stay away. I need your levels. I need your levels, please, sir. I need your levels. Kill him. There we go. So you can grab those levels from the ocean. Right, we're on level 14. That's actually pretty good. That was the step up that we needed to enchant this sword, actually. So we might be pretty good for that later on. Um, we'll do that in another episode, though. So I also want to grab some spider webs from somewhere. I'm not sure how, unless we find, like, a mine shaft. Because even that dungeon didn't have any in. So I'm not sure how we're going to be able to do that. And also, um, Pocket Edition has had an update recently to include some cool things. One of which we're going to go over in the next episode. But um, one of the other features, apparently, is that um, mining has slowed down a little bit. So you know where I accidentally just tossed myself into the lava of the nether? Well, apparently that's not going to happen anymore. But um, the reason that it happened was because each time you mine a block, the process gets quicker. So you mine quicker and quicker. And that's why I accidentally mined the block underneath me. Apparently that's not going to be a thing anymore. So that, that's going to be pretty good. It's going to stop me from throwing myself into lava anytime soon. Right, where else do we want to put this? I'm guessing we're going to go... Let's go here. Let's put it all the way around here. Jeez, it still seems pretty fast. Maybe it hasn't updated quite yet. It still seems very fast to me. Um, right, we need to put one here and then all the way around. This actually looks really cool. There we go. And we should have enough as well to do it. Do, 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 do. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so it's looking pretty nice, actually. I'm liking it. We just need to make sure it looks nice on the outside as well. There we go. There we go. And there is a little place for our golem to stay. Now, what I'm going to do is quickly put some coverage in. So he's still nice and covered over because I don't want him to have an exposed view of everything. So where else do we need to cover over? We need to cover this bit here. Let's put some there, and then put some there. Uh, is that looking good? I think that's looking pretty good. I might add some there and there as well. Awesome. Okay, right. Let's put some torches up as well, because otherwise it's going to be very, very dark. And then we can get to actually putting this guy into the world, which I'm super excited about. How does it look? You know what? It's looking fairly cozy. I might do something different with the roof. I'm not 100% sure what, though. I don't think you can make anything else with polished diorite, so I'm not going to be able to do anything there. Maybe I can make a little bit of a roof. Uh, yeah, let's try it. I don't know if I've got enough. I've got 21. Let's see if we've got enough for that. I don't think we do. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to use my fist, actually, because that seems very, very quick. I'm going to have to cover over the roof with some dirt as well. But let's see if we've got any more. I can also go and grab some because there's loads out there in the world. To be honest, we, we, we haven't come across a shortage of it. And we haven't really been collecting it on purpose. It just kind of happened when we're trying to get to places. So we've got 12 left. Is this going to be enough? Is this going to be enough? Um, oh, it might be. It might just be. There we go. We made that. And Oh, we can put one just here and that'll be the last one. There we go. Check that out. Awesome. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I'm liking it. We might be able to kind of fix up with some quartz and stuff as well. That might make it look even more amazing. But for now, that is looking pretty, pretty cool. I just want to cover it over a little bit more. Make it a little bit more um, inconspicuous. Check out that word. Word of the day, guys. Word of the day. Inconspicuous. There we go. Put that there. Nice. Oh, I'm on the tree. I don't want to be on the tree just yet. Okay. That's our little den for our guys so far. Maybe I want to make it so that... It's over the top as well. And then it's really enclosed. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Okay, I'm just trying to design on the fly here. That's probably why it's looking a little bit odd, but I think that's okay. I think that could look worse. But you guys, let me know if you see any improvements you could make. Then, of course, let me know in the comment section down below because you guys are super, super helpful. So we want to add some torches around the outside as well so it doesn't get too dark around here. And let's go to bed. That was a busy day of building. Jeez. Right. Let's head to bed. And there's zombies coming. So let's make it snappy. Come on. At least this guy is keeping the creepers away. Let's sleep. There we go. And he's going to watch me sleep. <laughs> Fantastic. What a creepy cat. Very creepy cat indeed. Good morning. How are you doing? How are you doing? You're so cute. But he also loves to sleep on this bed. So, oh, jeez. No, I didn't mean to move you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Let me see if I can push you back without hurting you. I don't want to hurt you because I'm pretty good at doing that to my animals. There we go. Nice. Okay. Right. Let's get to making this iron golem now. I'm debating whether to actually put fences around it or not. You guys said I probably should, but then he kind of can't come out and uh, 
and defend, can he? So I need to think about it. I'm not too sure. Let's see if he starts wandering off. And if he does, then we're going to have to keep him in his place, aren't we? Um, let me just make this better. And then put another one around here. Just kind of make it look like it's spilling out. Right, let's go and grab. I think we've got enough iron on us, actually, to be able to do it. Because we collected all the iron from last time, which is what gave us most of our levels, which is awesome. So, let me just close the door here. Uh, let me see how much iron I've got. In this chest, I have 40 iron in total. And on me, I have 34. Uh, that should be enough, shouldn't it? So, I've got um, enough for three. Let me grab some more. I need 9, 18, 27, 36. I need 36. I have currently 34. I need two more to be able to do this. Right, let's grab two more. That leaves us 38. That's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty good. So, one, two, three, four. Got four of those blocks of iron. And then we're also going to need ourselves a, a pumpkin. So let's grab a pumpkin as well. And let's build this guy. This is awesome. All down to your guys' idea. We've been working up to this in the last episode. But today, it is about to happen. Now, I'm guessing... Where should we spawn him? I would spawn him inside, but you guys said it's quite dangerous. Let's just spawn him here. I've kind of done it already now. Here we go. This is the time. This is the time. Hopefully, this is enough room. I'm a bit scared that he might get stuck in the trees. Oh, well, we're going to see how this is going to go. Here we go. Three. Actually, are you ready? Are you ready for this? Are you ready to meet our new Iron Golem friend? Good. Good. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, I missed. I missed. Ugh. Yes, I made it. Hello. How are you doing, sir? Welcome to the world. Oh, my goodness. Can I push you? Is this too? Oh, no. Is he going to fit? Is he going to fit? I hope you're going to fit, buddy. Um, Is he going to fit? I hope so. I don't want to hit him because he will absolutely destroy me. Yes, look. He's in his little hut. Ah, oh, he looks so awesome. Yes. We've got a little man. Well, he's kind of like, he's a huge man, isn't he? Look at him trotting around. He is beautiful. Look at him. Yes. Yes, right. Um, something I think we should do as we've got a golem is maybe... Yep, yeah, he's going to wander off straight away, isn't he? You're going to fall off as well. Uh, maybe we should kind of make fences around our world or around our little domain. Where is he going? Where are you going? Golem, where are you going, sir? I don't really want you wandering off, okay? Where are you going? Let's follow him and see what he does. Okay, he's going up there. He's turning around. He's changed his mind. Where are you going? What are you doing, sir? I'm going to call him Tim. Hello, Tim. Tim, what are you doing, bro? Where are you going? Is he going to go and find a flower for me? Or is he going to go down here? He's looking for nasties, isn't he? He is ready to go. Jeez. Okay, um, let's have a look at this. I'm kind of liking it. Maybe we could do some, like, uh, andesite stuff around the outside. But um, for now, I think he's good just kind of wandering around. Ow, what? No. No. Where did you come from? Hey! Creeper! Where did you come from? I didn't even hear the hissing. How are you inside there? Oh, no, it's all going wrong. It's all going wrong. First off, I make an iron golem. Then I get blown up by a creeper. How does that work? Oh, jeez. He's, he's, no, no. Oh, no. He's, tra oh, he's trampling everything. How did you get in there? He must have walked off the edge of there, right? Are you going to come out? I don't think he'll fit through that little fence, will he? Uh, right, let's bash this. Oh, God. Oh, man. All right, let's hit him. Out of the way. I'm trying not to smack him because he will hurt me. Oh, jeez. I did not expect this to happen. Come on, then, buddy. Get out of there, you punk. Come on. Get out of there. Let's uh, break this as well. Oh, jeez. He's causing me all kind of stress already. Excuse me, sir. Uh, you're going to have to get out of there because you're causing me trouble and you're trampling all me crops. Get out. Get out. Jeez, jeez, go and get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. I'm trying to get you out of here. <laughs> yes, he's out. Okay, right. Disaster averted for a little bit. Let's see if we can make sure he doesn't get back in. Um, fences, boom, boom. And then I need to, I need to fix this hole as well. I'm so glad it only happened in the middle of that hole because otherwise we'd have been. Um, it's really close to our house. Jeez, I must have walked along the fence. This guy's too smart for me. You see. Okay, he's going down there. See you later, buddy. See you later. I don't really want you going down there, but hey. If you're going to fight some nasties for me. You kind of failed me already, though. I thought you were going to get that creeper for me, and then you just didn't. So, I'm, I'm a little bit worried about you. Yeah, you. You. He's like a little pet that doesn't listen to you. <laughs> oh, man. Right, we need to fix this hole as well. Look how lucky that was. It literally blew up nothing of worth. Nothing at all that we need to worry about. So, let's just... Uh, oh, jeez. Don't fall in. Don't fall in, please. Do not fall in, guys. Do not fall in. Oh, jeez. No. He's, he's pushing me. He's pushing me. Don't fall in. I don't want to hit him either. Oh, jeez. Oh, man, he's spinning. He's dancing. He's happy. It's all good. Um, I'm going to need one more log, though, because I think the creeper blew up one. Oh, man, these creepers. These creepity creeps. Mind you, that's the first creeper attack we've had, and to be honest, that could have been a lot worse. A lot, lot worse. My goodness. Right, where's he gone? He's always running off. We're going to lose him. 
I'm going to have to fence him in. I'm going to have to keep him in. He's not really protecting me anyway. Uh, what do I do? What do I do, guys? You're going to have to let me know. Where's he? Oh, jeez, he's gone. He's really gone. Iron Golem, where are you going? Tim? Tim? No. Oh, Tim, why are you down there? Come on, buddy. We don't, we just, it doesn't have to be like this. It doesn't have to be like this. Where are you going, sir? Just stay around here. It doesn't matter. Oh, my goodness, right. He's going to have to go in for now. I'm going to have to grab some wood. Do I have any... I have four. Wow. I'm going to have to grab some wood. I'm going to have to keep my eye on him at the same time, though, because if he wanders off, I'm going to be in big trouble. All right, let's see if we can go and grab some, shall we? Let's check on our animals, too. Hopefully, they're all okay. Uh, looking good. Looking good. Oh, jeez. A creeper. A creeper. A creeper. A creeper. A creeper. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Uh, my cat didn't really um, stop there, creeper, did he? It, it wasn't really scared. Maybe he wasn't aware that he was in there. Right, let's take you out. Fine. Explode. Do what you want. Creepers are going to do what they want anyway. Why are there so many creepers around? <laughs> I'm scared. I'm very, very scared. Oh, jeez. Right, let's go and grab some wood, and I'll meet you guys back at the house. See you in a sec. Okay, let's see what this little punk is up to. Where are you? Where are you, Timothy? Timothy? Oh, he's there. Okay, that's not too bad. He's kind of uh, talking to the tree. That's fine. Right, he's still walking around. Now, I need to make a decision. I need to either... Wow. Wow, I can't believe I just did that. Yeah, I know. Don't laugh at me, Timothy. Do not laugh. I know I did it wrong, okay? Right, so that tree is fixed. What I need to decide now is whether I um, encase him inside there or whether i make a fence around the outside i think a fence around the outside to kind of keep him in would be much better and it kind of keeps nasties out as well so let's see how many uh let's see how many fences we can make with this so all the oakwood planks in the world please uh then we need some sticker and then we're going to need some fences so i'm trying to keep an eye on where they are where are the fences at okay they're here i can make 12 loads of three let's see how much we've got after we make all these because it's going to need a lot um, right, did I just make an oak wood gate as well? I think I did by accident. Where's my inventory? I've made 34 fences. I've got 16 wood left. Oh, no, I've got a bit more than that. Okay, let's make some more. We don't feel good any more than that. All right, we need five more fences. There we go. Four, five. Okay, have I used all the wood now? Yes, I have. Okay, I've got plenty. Absolutely plenty. So let's see what... Oh, it's going tonight again. You... What?! How are you getting in there? Oi! How do you keep getting in there, you little... Oh, jeez, how does he do that? Is he just... He's skipping over these one block bits, isn't he? Oh, my goodness. You are ruining everything, sir. I'm gonna have to make it all golem safe. This is not good. This is not good at all. Let's see if we can get this guy out of here. Um, right. I'm gonna have to move this as well. Jeez. What a troublemaker. What an absolute troublemaker. I'm going to go to bed, Timothy. And when I come back, I'm going to pretty much contain you in the surroundings. I'm going to keep you in there for now. But, uh, jeez, I can't believe it. He's being so pesky. And then we're going to try and fence the perimeter around so that when we've we've got a nice area that he can kind of conceal himself in. Right. This, this cat's literally sat there for two days. That's pretty impressive. He's probably going to sit there for the rest of it as well. Right, Timothy. Are you still being a little punk? Where are you? Where are you, Timothy? Timothy is still in there. Right, uh, let's go ahead and munch on some stuff. I'm going to eat some steak. Nice morning steak. It's a shame I don't have any eggs to put on top of them. Here we go. Yum, yum, yum. Right, let's see if we can make a nice perimeter around here, shall we? Let's start. Yeah, let's start there. Let's start in the middle of the cheese. Right in the wrong place. Let's go here. So we're going to make a nice perimeter so that we know where he's going to be at all times. Now, we might need to alter this a little bit. Just to make it look cool with the environment. And uh, it's going to take a lot of iron fences. Iron fences are wooden fences as well. Right, let's chop this up. Let's chop. Let's see where else we can go. I accidentally made a path. That looks cool though. I kind of only want him to go a certain distance. Right, he's going to be able to walk over these. He's going to be able to walk over anything that's like a one block, apparently. Apparently he's that smart. So we're going to have to get rid of those. That kind of opens it up anyway. That looks pretty nice. And fill in the bits that we don't want. So fill in this. Fill in. Fill in. Fill in. Ugh. There we go. Uh, let's get rid of this corner here. And then the path's going to come around. Do, do, do. And then we're going to have to put it here as well. Okay. This is going to look pretty cool actually when it's done. How far along do I want him to go? Not really too much further than this. So, oh geez, I'm placing fences all over the place right now. So if I want him to go maybe... Yeah, up to up to his cave, I guess. That would be pretty cool. Let's put... Let's get that out of the way, shall we? And then put one there. And then make our borderline around here. This grass is obs obscuring my building. Get out of here. Get out of here. 
Uh, so if we put one there, and then we can carry on going this way. We might even be able to block him in. We might not be able to use fences all the time, because we can use nature to block him in too. So let's put a dirt block behind here, because he's not going to be able to get up there at all. And then stop him from getting up here as well. So start the fence here again. I'm thinking out loud, guys. I think it's going to work. I think it's going to work. We might need a couple more fences, but that's not too bad. There we go. And then... Yeah, if we bring it up here, that should be fine. Where do I just place that? I placed it somewhere. And then here, here, here. And then that should connect. Awesome. Okay, we got this. We got this. Hopefully, you can't make it through there. I'm going to put that there just in case anyway. So, this is our first little bit. There we go. Let's put that there. Um, geez, I wasn't meant to do that. But we can just put a fence and a fence. Right, that should keep him contained. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to need this. I just want to save as many fences as I can because they are pretty expensive in wood. There we go. I might make it look a little bit better later down the line. But we don't need this anymore. We don't need this. And it kind of keeps nature inclined. And hopefully the grass will spread as well. If not, we can have a look at our Silk Touch pickaxe very, very soon as well. Okay, so he's contained in here now. Hopefully, anyway, he's got no way to get out. Let's just shave this bit off as well just to make 100% sure. Right, he's still trampling my crops over there. You're doing a good job, buddy. You're doing a good job. Don't make me, don't make me give you a quick slap. Right, what I'm going to do is off camera, I am going to finish this up. So the way I'm going to do it is, where are my fences gone? Um, I'm going to go here, 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 and all the way along this side. Actually, this should be able to complete it, right? So if I put fences all the way along to here, he shouldn't be able to get up there. You know what, I'm just going to put them along here. There we go. And then along there. Awesome. So he shouldn't be able to get up there. Um, he should be blocked here. Um, let's just round this off just so it looks a bit nicer. There we go. Get rid of this. Get rid of all of that. Pop, pop. Pa! There we go. A perfect amount of fences. So we can now contain him a little bit. I'm just going to keep him in there until I'm 100% sure that I've contained him in. But now we've got a little area that's actually ours. And what I can do is about um, here-ish or maybe just like there, I'll have a fence gate so I know where he's going to be. So that means he's going to be protecting the house and he cannot get out. Jeez, much better. Much better. I might make this look a little bit nicer actually because I'm not 100% sure if this looks good. Actually, what am I doing? I should put it this way. So get rid of these. And then this is how it's going to work. Yeah, this is going to be better. This is going to be better. Uh, let me grab all these. And then the iron shovel is going to come in and wreck this. Maybe too much. I knew that was going to happen. It's going to go there as well. And then if I put the rest of the fences around this way. There we go. But, but, but. He won't be able to get past, which is nature blocking him. So he can't get up here. Because if I can't get up there, he can't. Uh, okay, that's pretty good. Okay, we've got this. We've got this, guys. We've got a nice little area that's containing him. It just means we're going to have to use uh, fence gates a little bit more. But hey, if that means that we can keep an eye on Golem, then hey, that is what we're going to do. So guys, I'm going to end today's episode here. It was super awesome. Thank you again for your suggestions. If you've got any more, leave me in the comment section down below. It really does make this world a lot better. Um, we've got some exciting things still to explore. We've got enchanting, and I've got a super awesome new feature to explore in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it and would like to continue seeing Daily Minecraft Pocket Edition, then please give me a big fat thumbs up while this guy heals and I will see you guys in the next video If you want to stay up to date, then please do subscribe and join team TDM today for daily Minecraft videos And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!